A humankind lives on average for 79 years. Some of the trees such as palms can live around 50 years and some of them like Alaska red cedar can live up to 3,500 years. We know this by observing at many examples. But how can we find out the lifetime of an industrial component like a boiler or turbine blade? To answer this question we should consider that unlike humans and trees, we cannot find out lifespan of industrial components through observation in real time. Because of time and safety issues. Through an outstanding research project, we have developed a method to correctly estimate the lifetime of such components. Modern industries such as aerospace, petrochemical, nuclear and power plant industries are a huge achievement for humans. Some of the main components in these industries such as boilers, reactors, turbine, and pressure vessels are exposed to loading conditions that involve long-term high temperature and forces. science, the tendency of a solid material to deform permanently under the influence of persistent thermal and mechanical loads over time is called creep, which is an irreversible process. In crystalline materials, such as metals, the creep mechanism is linked to the diffusional flow of vacancies and dislocation movement. The dependency of creep deformation on stress, strain, time, and temperature are generally modeled as the shown formula. The functions, F1, to F4, are dependent on the selected creep law. Creep constants are usually obtained through creep tests at different stress levels and temperatures. Creep, like plasticity, is an irreversible strain and the material is assumed to be incompressible. On the other hand, creep, unlike rate-independent plasticity, has no yield surface at which plastic saint rains occur and creep saint rains are assumed to develop at all non-zero stress values. Creep and viscoplasticity are the same from a material standpoint. However, creep is generally used to describe a thermally activated process with a low strain rate. Also, rate-independent plastic saint rains and creep saint rains are treated in a weakly coupled manner. Conversely, viscoplasticity models are used to describe high strain rate applications, for example impact loading, and inelastic saint rains are treated in a strongly coupled manner. Under constant load, the uniaxial strain versus time behavior of creep is shown in the following figure. In the primary stage, the strain rate decreases with time. This trend occurs over a short period. The secondary stage has a constant strain rate. In the tertiary stage, the strain rate increases rapidly until failure.
For engineering analysis, the primary and secondary stages of creep are usually of greatest interest. Tertiary creep is usually associated with the onset of failure and is short-lived. The strain rate in primary creep is usually greater than the secondary creep. However, the strain rate is decreasing in the primary stage, whereas it is usually nearly constant in the secondary stage. Also, primary creep occurs in a shorter time period than secondary creep. Question. What is the used law in creep formulation for temperature dependency? When under constant applied stress, strain increases, we have the creep process, and when under constant applied strain, stress decreases, we have a stress relaxation process. Time hardening assumes that the creep strain rate depends only upon the time from the beginning of the creep process. In other words, the curve shifts up and down. As stress changes from sigma 1 to sigma 2, the different creep rates are calculated at points A to B. Strain hardening assumes that the creep rate depends only on the existing strain of the material. In other words, the curve shifts left and right. As the stress changes from sigma 1 to sigma 2, the different creep strain rates are calculated at points A to B. Implicit creep refers to the use of backward Euler integration for creep saint reigns. This method is numerically unconditionally stable. This means Saint reigns that it does not require as small a time step as the explicit creep method, so it is much faster. Implicit creep is generally more accurate than explicit creep, but it is still dependent on the time step size. A small enough time step must be used to capture the path dependent behavior accurately. As noted earlier, the creep equations are usually of a rate form similar to the shown formula. Some general characteristics will be discussed here. Primary creep usually exhibits either time or strain hardening. Time hardening formulation is the inclusion of a time dependent term and strain hardening formulation is the inclusion of a strain dependent term. Secondary creep does not exhibit time or strain hardening and creep strain rate is usually constant. Temperature dependency. Creep effects are thermally activated, and its temperature dependence is usually expressed through the Arrhenius law. Where Q is the activation energy, R is the universal gas constant, and T is the absolute temperature. Stress dependency. Creep strain is also usually stress dependent, which is expressed in various ways, like Norton's law, or power law, the exponential law, the hyperbolic sinus law, and so on. Some of the creep constitutive laws are presented here.
correct estimation of lifespan for the main industrial parts is very important because the failure of these components can result in a catastrophe, such as the Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster. Creep is one of the main factors, beside corrosion and fatigue, to consider for remnant life estimation of components. Through remarkable research, which takes about six years, we have developed innovative methods to predict the remnant life of industrial components. If you are interested in this subject, find more specific information through our published articles. Thank you.